I'm trying to show y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to show y'all. But I'm eating them. Mmm. This is why you can't let a couple of spoiled apples spoil the whole bunch or whatever they say, you know. But I got that from um, a young lady who watched me on YouTube, of course, and on Instagram. Karen, 100% lady. Y'all, I'm sitting here at the shop. I'm just not leaving the shop. Look good Friday. I was doing nails and the client was like, oh, what's that? So I had an edible arrangement delivered to me from, from Karen on Instagram. And um, she had left me a really, 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 really kind message, I think like a week ago. Just saying that, you know, how much, I don't know how much, you know, I inspire women, you know, to do better, to stay ready, just you know we she she appreciate me she appreciate the you know the advice the the trueness the realness she just appreciate what i do and i'm like oh my god it's so nice of you i'm like you know what give me your address i'm gonna send you some i'm gonna send you something give me your info i've been so busy i haven't seen it yet but i'm going to send her something she said well you know what when i was talking about my procedure she said you know i want to send you something so i gave her my info and she had an edible arrangement delivered here to the shop Karen. So I'm like, oh, I'm just almost in tears. I'm like, for real? Oh my God. So I'm sitting here and it came out right on time because I ain't had no lunch. I ain't had nothing. So I'm sitting here eating. Let me go ahead and eat before I start driving. I can't be doing all this. But yeah, um, it is so cool of her, y'all. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm starving. I had to eat that. I don't eat on camera. Y'all know that. This is blueberry ice cream. But anyway, yeah, I got to start recording when I can, y'all. So yeah, this is um. I know what I'm gonna talk about, so let me get to the point. But anyway, thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. So I put a picture over to my Instagram, which is Stay Ready Studio too. All nails and Stay Ready Studio. But anyway, I decided to do another video. Um. And it's, it's weird. I'm not even drinking, of course, but I'm drinking. I mean, I, I'm driving, so you don't both drink and drive anyway. But it's Friday, and it's almost 9 o'clock. So I'm like, by the time I get home and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. But I do have a Diet Dr. Pepper. I had earlier, so I'm drinking it. And yes, yeah, I promise, it's Diet Dr. Pepper. No no wrong minute, no, no crown. I don't drink dog liquor. Just Diet Dr. Pepper I'm going to be sipping on. Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah, y'all can tell when I've, I've been tipsy. So I, haven't, I haven't had anything to drink since Tuesday. But yeah, what the hell is really going on? But anyway, <coughs> damn it, edible arrangement. I need to close it up. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get another piece of chocolate cup or something. I'm gonna, let me tie it up so I won't be looking at it. But anyway, this video is going to be about red light good i'm gonna talk about okay y'all when i did the video about the young lady who um wanted me to do a video about how to make her how to want her spouse want to hang out with her she had tagged me on instagram a picture of her and her husband she's like oh my gosh no she came thank you it, it worked it really worked she showed a picture of her and her husband out in the bottle, whatever. And she was just like, you know, your advice really worked. And I'm like, oh my God. She's like, yeah, you need, you're a life coach. You really are. Thank you. Thank you. So I was thinking when I did that video, but I, again, I haven't had a chance to come back. It's, it's more to, it's part two to that. 
it's part two. It, it takes two to, to what they say. It takes two to Rambo, two to Tango. It takes two. So in that video, I was talking about you know, don't be nagging your man when he come home and all this stuff. Rewind it. It, it. it also goes for the women. Yeah. If you a woman, and let me get out of my face. I'm up in the camera. Let me lean back. Okay. Yeah, you a female and you you know you working. No, whether the man working or not, you, you know you get home last. No, the man is already home. The kids are home from school. You know, and soon you get in the door, here come the kids. Mama, mama, you know you, you got to bake some cupcakes for for the PTO meeting next week. Mama, mama, I can't find my sock. Mama, mama, where my basketball at? Mama, mama, you gonna take me to cry practice next week? Mama, basketball practice is coming up, and your husband at the door. Um, what we gonna eat for dinner? And you just walk through the damn door. It's like, goddamn, can I take off my goddamn bra first? Like, really? So yeah, that women, yeah, it goes towards us too. Men, if you watching this shit, or women, you you show your men this and tell them. See, can't sister ain't said, let y'all let y'all come in the house also and 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 get a good hour to y'all self. Let me take off my damn stockings and my bra and these high ass heels and and can I? Can I just take out this makeup and just soak in the, in the tub first? Give me an hour. Meet me at the door with a glass of wine. That's what you do. Or a glass of, uh, 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 a cup of tea or whatever I drink. Just leave me the hell alone. So, yeah. Woman, come home. Men, if you if you, if you you made it home first, go ahead and take start dinner. Go ahead. You got the plan there. Go ahead and take something out if you didn't take it out the night before, the day before, whatever. Or you didn't take it out in advance. Go ahead and start dinner. Go ahead and say, baby, I'm going to stop and get something for dinner. Yeah. Don't just wait till she get home and then think she's going to come home and cook. And you, you been there all day. Especially if your ass don't work. Don't don't ask her to do a damn thing. You need to do it. You ain't working. But if you got home first from a long day of work, it doesn't matter what you do for a living or it doesn't matter what she do for a living. Whoever make it home first, go ahead and start the dinner. Go ahead and have the kids. Look, go ahead. You know what you got to do. Especially if they are of age to understand, go and do your homework. Now go go ahead and knock it out the way. Go and do it. And so yeah, when she come home, she can take off her bra and just breathe. You know, get a glass of wine or something, and just relax. Don't just throw a hidden hook with all them damn questions either. What we gonna eat today? Um, why you ain't gonna get no bread? We out of eggs. Why you late? You went to half hour again with, 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 with Tanya? Tanya ain't got no damn man. You got a man, you should've came home. That's, that's nagging and, and, and all that old bullshit. She don't wanna hear that. So yeah, that's how you get your spouse, your woman to hang out with you because I'm the type of, and you know what? I just thought about something um on Instagram. She want me to talk about, what's your name, girl? Um, the I wanna say Maryland, the Maryland. You got glasses on, you got brown hair on Instagram, you got glasses. You want me to talk about how to unwind on a Friday or something like that from a long week of work? You, I, I, I'm looking right at your face in my mind. I don't want to do all this if I'm driving, but I think the Merle, I'm going to put your name in the description box. But yeah, you want me to talk about how to unwind, you know, from a long day of work or whatever. That's how you do it. You, first of all, whether you at home or, or wherever, don't associate with yourself with nobody that you know is going to be a debit down, that you know is going to bring your mood down to like, huh? don't associate yourself with that. If you know when you get home, they're going to be at the door, at the door. You know your family going to be at the door, head tilt, waiting for you. Like, mama, what we going to eat? And mama, what, what, you taking me to, um, to, 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 to drive the air next week? And mama this and mama that, and what we going to eat, baby? And, Ooh, let me rub that booty. If you know you're gonna get home and and, and, and that's what you're gonna be um walking to, man, you you get to the point where you I don't even wanna come home. I just stay at work. I just stay at the bar a little extra hour or whatever. I don't wanna come home. So your husband, if you realize your wife ain't bringing her ass home when she could be home, it's because she probably don't want to come home. Cause she don't she try to wait, basically. I I ain't what's up? Some wife might not want to come home, but some is trying to wait until all of the madness dies down. She's trying to wait until Reginae and Lil uh, Ray 
did their homework and they they didn't need to go back after you didn't start their bath water if they younger. You trying to wait until you know they in their bath clothes. They took their bath. I can't even talk. Hold on. She's trying to wait until they are in their bath clothes. You know, they took a bath or whatever. She's trying to wait until at least dinner is half done or done. She's just trying to wait to get her mind right. She's trying to get her, her get in her, they call it get, get in her mind space, whatever. She's trying to wait until she get everything situated before she walk in that house because she knows it's going to be chaos. You know, so, um, yeah. Say, don't disturb this room. Perfect song. Don't disturb this room. I'm so into you. Don't disturb this room. So yeah, let 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 your wife come home and relax first. She tired, you know. You know she going through something. She don't want you rubbing out on her and, and, and trying to pound on her. Let's have some sex, baby. <laughs> like no, you know it's like I don't want to be bothered. Like no, shit. You know, let me let me get my pH balance back right first. You know. So my husband, my husband used to look at me sideways sometimes. I'm like, what the hell? You know, you don't like having sex with me. What's going on? I'm like, nah, baby. It's like I'm trying to get my pH balance back right. You know, goddamn, we just had sex. Let me, let me get it, get it all right. He, he used to look like what? So yeah, ladies, don't be ashamed to talk to your man and tell him, look, we didn't have sex two days in a row, whatever. Let me get my pH balance back right because I got to go to work. I don't want to be walking around the office smelling like um catfish soup and all that stuff. You know, that's let me get my pH balance back right. He don't know what the fuck what pH balance is, so you tell him. So let me say, so yeah, so let me get it back right. Damn, you know, let me freshen up first, let me get it back right. So, so yeah. Just, you got to just explain stuff. You know, put your foot down and be like, look, when I come home tomorrow, goddammit, I don't, don't meet me at the door with this bullshit. Y'all take your ass in that bathtub, have y'all pajamas on. And and, and, and and I come in the room and kiss y'all goodnight and come in there when I get ready. Don't be me at the door every goddamn time I come home with this bullshit. I don't mean I don't cuss at your kids. You know, I don't cuss at my kids, but just tell them and your husband too. So let's plan a date night. Let's 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 plan a date night. Don't just, you know, pounce on me and be like, you know, baby, no, let me rub and feel. Like, get off me, shit. But anyway, that's that's basically it, you know. Make your wife want to come home. Like I'm getting ready to come. Like I'm getting ready to go home. Make her want to come to the house. Have a glass of wine like my husband be doing sometimes. Waiting on me at the door. You know I like you know certain foods or whatever. Go ahead on the head it waiting for her. You know go ahead and and head it waiting for her sometimes. You know. You call and check and check on and say, babe, no, you alright on your way home? Yeah, I'm on my way home. Go in and, and surprise her sometimes. You know, have some have some bath water ready. You know, have a little bubble bath ready for her. Just be spontaneous. Just put thought into stuff. Like, you know what? Let me go in her closet. You know, let me let me you know take out a, a, something I saw in the movie. Let me go put out a, a pajama set or something or, or I don't care if it's a regular old house but that you know. I don't care if it's a regular house robe that you know that she likes to color up in. Lay it out on the bed. Just press with a little perfume or body spray. Them. Just lay it out at least. Lay it out with her little house shoes that she likes to put her feet in. And, and she'll come home and be like, oh my God, he, that's little simple stuff. Little stuff like that. Little stuff like that would make her be like, oh my God, he really put thought into that. You know what she like? Go ahead and do it. You know what she like? Go ahead and buy it. Lay it out on the bed. You know, lay it out. And that way, you know, when it's time for sex, you know, she'll be more willing to go ahead and have sex. So, just put that in the stuff. Because I know me, I'm, I'm really simple. I, I, it doesn't take a lot to please me. Just put that into it. You know, just, 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 just think. You know, just like, come on now. I told you what I like. I told you what I like. I told you what I like. So, you know, just go ahead and do it. It's real simple. 
just gonna be the smallest thing. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, he thought of me. You know, just simple stuff. I ain't asking for the moon, you know, I've got basically everything I need, so I'm asking for a little simple stuff now. So yeah. Ladies, don't be scared to talk to your guy, your man. Let him know. Say, hey, let's talk. You're gonna be like, oh shit. So yeah, go ahead and talk and be like, okay. You know, I don't like this, I like this, I like that, I don't like this, da 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 da. Make it happen. I appreciate it sometimes. You got to, you got to tell them. And then when you do receive it, you are genuine, you know, you're surprised because it's like, okay, he really did think about me. So yeah, y'all, let me pay attention to the road. Because I'm looking at myself and stuff. So let me pay attention. Thank you guys again for the support. Thank you guys. Thank you again, Karen, for the edible arrangements. The jo Johnson, Johnson something on Instagram. The Maryland or the Johnson. I don't know. I can't think of it right now. But I'm going to put your name in the description box when I get home and upload this. So, love you guys. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Enjoy the rest of your night. Love you guys. I'll holler. My damn nails in. Oh, oh.